floss tube it's Sarah our stitching kingdom sorry the the light is just super bright today which is nice but we are getting snow flurries it is welcome to floss tube it is Monday November 9th happy birthday to my little brother he's 35 35 I think so he's old <gasps> probably 36 I can't remember he's in his 30s Shh. <laughs> But um, I hope you all had a great weekend. I hope you are having a great week so far. Um, just welcome. Welcome back to any, welcome back to my old friends. Welcome back to any new subscribers or if you're just checking it out, welcome. Um, my name's Sarah and we talk about cross stitching and life, a little bit of other um, extracurriculars. And here comes my hubby. Thank y'all. Okay. I have a list of uh, numbers for the random number generator. Mwahaha. But we will get to that in a moment. That's going to be the end. I'm going to make you wait all the way to the end. I'm terrible that way. That's okay. So, progress and plans. And that's where we'll go. When we've got some high, lots of happy mail. I got Australian happy mail. I'm so excited. Um, so first off, I do have a finish. It's not a completely finish because I have to cut it out and put the felt backing on it, but it's pretty darn close. So, and this is an accessory bag from Stitch and Button. I love it. Love these little bags because you can put their flosses in it. But this is a Mill Hill ornament. This is called Berry. And I did this, um, started it Saturday morning for Crystal Academy. We were doing a frog hunt, a frog catching event. And for every 50 stitches for our dorm, since we had learned um, all up in, in all of the old spells up to the two new spells we were learning, um, we'd learned them all. So we could only ever we only had 50 stitches for frog, which was really nice. So this earned us 35 frogs, and beaded it and everything, which was really nice. And then I started last night on the second one. This is Peridot. I got these from, I think I got these from Blue Horse Yellow Cow when I got one, um, one of her, um, giveaways, which was really fun. And so that's where I am on that. I'm just starting the beating or not starting the beating. I'm almost done with the beating, which is nice. This is going, um, my, um, friend that owns the salon, she does my hair and my nails, she um, does a sub for Santa raffle every year and asked me if I would um, contribute. And so I was like, yeah, I'll do a couple of, uh, I'll do three ornaments and, you know, some decor. So that'll be fun for them. So put that over here. And then I don't know, I may have showed it, but I finished, I didn't get the beading done. So I did beading this weekend, but not the beading I wanted to do, but it's okay. It goes for a good cause. I did finish Lyrical. She's not beaded, but she is all stitched. So, and back stitching is fin is complete. So I've got beading that needs to go up there. She needs an iron desperately. And I love her little toes. And then she's got lots of beats. So that's what I'm going to focus on this week, I think. Um, ooh, I might be able to do, I know she's got at least 300, maybe. We'll see. But that's that's on the plans of this week. Okay, we are happy mail. You're happy mail. You're happy mail. You're happy mail. Okay, on I started Friday. I almost started Saturday, but um, I don't have a picture of it. It's um, on my phone. But I started under the evergreen by Teresa Winsler. And this is about 300 stitches. Sorry about my hanging thread, but there's a couple of good blends in there. And that's the, f and this is from the, this is the, the middle right here. So then I just have to do the half and make sure hopefully they'll meet up. And this is just on a 28 count even weave. And I used my Cricut the other day. I think I talked about this but I was able to combine a, a rectangle, which is two squares. And this is like a 70 or a, like a quarter inch or no, three quarters of an inch hole. It's not quite an inch, but yep. And then I just cut out the, uh, made another copy of the thread symbols and cut those out. 
so and then I taped them on there um, I know with the Cricut you can write on there but sometimes those symbols don't always come across so I decided just to tape them on and it was just as easy so that was nice kind of excited about that I didn't have to hurt my hand doing all the punching go there um, sorry about that I also worked on cardinal points for a medicinal flower and something with a canine. The canine was for Magical Stitches, the medicinal flower was for Crystal Academy. And I did stitch categories for a little bit and then I realized I had to do all five categories and that just, yeah. And I know that there's a light version, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna go back to the other one and this is where I got, I almost have the full first page completed. I have a couple more things down here at the bottom, but I got the cute little dog. And then this is the start of the center motif, the center flowers. So kind of excited to see the progress on that. This is definitely, I think I want to focus on this one um, next year. I've got, I've got a few things I want to focus on. Where did that, right here. And then I also worked on, oh, that's my, I also worked on Touching the Autumn Sky, and this is in one of my stitching bags. I did a little bit of bag switching today, or when I stitched, so. more of the flower the leaves done in that corner so and then it's my cool wendigo needle minder from becky oh it's upside down so that's really fun help us to all remember that we're wendigos super fun So we'll put that back in there. And the other nice thing is I can use, because there's a couple of blends in Touching the Autumn Sky, so you can I can cut them apart and I don't have to use the whole thing. So it'll be really nice. And then when I'm done, I'll probably take the blended ones and put them on the other one, you know, the non-blended, just kind of separate them out. So here's some of my cards. And they're just on, these are on the cardboard, or not the cardboard, but the um, comic book board. Um, but you could use any regular cardstock. You want it a little bit thicker, poster board size, um, just for sturdiness sake. So that's Happy Mail. Okay, and I got, last thing of progress and starts is I was able to do my restart see love I don't think I stitched on that one Do I stitch and I stitched on this one okay so of my around the holidays the only thing I have the only one I have to rest I have to I have finished or not finished I've left to restart I believe is my stay within your harvest yeah so this is or the live within your harvest this is the only one I have to restart on my new fabric I'm going to put that guy, so that's going to be for this month. And so I worked on where, Liber where Liberty Dwells, so we need something, and that's where I got to. So I got more of the hill done, which is really nice. And I'm using most of the called for colors. I think there was one called for that I didn't have in Hear the Bells. And so I just swapped that out with a, a different guest. So a different than And then I started, did my restart on Grown With Love. And actually, I'm just going to turn this because it is very nicely shown right there. Because I had the arrows could work for the compasses, which was really nice. And those cute little lovebirds. And then I did Oh Say Can You See. So I had to have something that was submerged. 
And I finished, let's see here. There we go. I stitched more of the blue to here and then I got bored and so I switched over to, I got O and the three little fishies. They still need their eyeballs and some seaweed. So really cute. I like this one. I think this is one of my favorites out of the whole. This is what made me really want to get this one. And I'm doing the drum finish on all of those. So. All right, and I think that's all of my progress finishes. Plans um, are kind of up in the air. I'm wanting to, you know, I need to focus on, oh, I, oh, I do have one more start that I'm needing to do is in these ornaments, because I'm gonna be doing three. And the third ornament is this holly one. So I'm gonna be stitching that one up and that one won't take very long. Um, so I'm going to be finishing those. So that's my, kind of my focus. Um, I do need to focus on finishing um, stitching in Crystal Academy this week. So I'm going to do that. Um, but try to make the prompts fit. So that'll be nice. Put these guys away so I can bring them back into where my stitchy spot is. OK, so for Happy Mail, we will do, this is my Best Stitch Me I bought, not another sampler. This is gonna be for my Rose Quaker. And it's 40 count, and I'm gonna do that in the Belle Soir. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna start that one. And then this is all the things, and it's 28 count Lugana, and this is a very nice neutral. That's just, and I should have taken that, not another sampler up, oh well. But it's a really good neutral. I like it. So there's some yellow and some grays. This will be good for something that you don't want too busy of a background. I'm excited. And that's 28 count. So any of my Nora's or anything like that will fit on there. Come on, get in there. And then I got Spellbound. But I got Spellbound, bought that from a friend. I really like that, it's a nice neutral gray. And then I got, I love this, so Ray Slade. She sent me that. Um, in Utah County, or not Utah County, but Salt Lake County, they, their uh, um, I Voted stickers were super awesome. Um, and you could actually, I learned that you could download this off of the, um, what's the word, off of the Better Days 2020 website. But it says Utah Women, I voted, and then it has 1870 because um, Utah Women had the right to vote bef while we were a territory. And then when we were um, petitioning for statehood, they um, made us take, they made them take the women's vote out of the constitution of Utah. So, and then 1920, obviously, um, 1965, and then 2020. So I love this. I'm not going to take this off because it's going in my junk journal. Um, I'm going to stitch a couple of I voted. So super excited about that. And why is that backwards? Is that backwards to you or is it just backwards to me? Crump. But I'll, I was super excited about that. And then I was really super excited that she gave me an evil, or a, a Red Queen sticker. So thank you, Ray. <laughs> and then I did an unboxing earlier on my, um, previously, and Michelle Bendy also did an unboxing. And this is the um, Stash Delights box um, from Stitchy Box. So this really pretty Tuscan velvet. This one's my sorry ribbon bag. S-A-R-I, not S-O-R-R-Y. And I love that the red was so pretty. And then we had beads. Let's see. We had the candy beads that are copper. These leaves. These cord extensions. 
um, golden runolated quartz and 24 karat delicate seed beads because those are gorgeous and then we also got some floss I'm super excited we got two silks or three silks um, and two cottons and this is the pine the green is the pine obviously this one is um, alabaster globe flower and then this is one of her duos um, and Michelle undid this on her floss tube and this is October 2020 and oh it's so they're so soft and then this one is the gassed autumn shadow purples grays really pretty and then this one is a color in cotton one of a kind called autumn light and that one's gorgeous I love that one too kind of reminds me of the false spice but anyway and then other happy mail I got um I got some patterns from a friend <laughs> and I got my first Joan Elliott's so she sent me Belinda sent me this gorgeous she had like three copies I guess <laughs> of the dragon and the fairy and I also have let's see what it is. the little house sheep virtues which is really fun um I also got Ashley's roses which I'm really excited about it's so pretty that one's Ashley's roses and then I also got candies and some Tim Tams, but I will show those in a second. Yeah, my husband was like, are you going to share those? I was like, i got to show them first. He's like, oh. And I'm super excited. I'm going to start this one pretty soon. Um, it's letter A from Letters of Nora, and it's the fairy ones, so they're super cute. And then these cute little fairy tale matryoshkas, and I think it's fun because it's got Anna Green Gables and Alice. And then it also has Red Riding Hood, Snow White, The Snow Queen, and Rapunzel. And those are really cute. And then I also got Gentle Spring by Joan Elliott. So I'm excited. I've got a couple of Joan Elliotts I can start. Um, and she sent me some beads, and she sent me these really pretty ones. Um, this one is Butterflies of the Meadow. Damask roses. I love how like very goddessy she looks. And caring wings. And then she also sent me a couple of packs of beads. Come here. She doesn't want to come out. That one's carrying wings. So pretty. So have some Nora's to add to my collection. Uh, Mira's, I mean, and Nora's, so, what is going on? Okay, and then, this is how it came in this package, and I was like, woohoo! But we got some original Tim Tams. Some, I'm excited for these ones, these caramel crowns. Oh, it smells so good. My cat was like snowing around in here. I was like, no, no, those are mine. And chewy caramel Tim Tam. And I know some, you can find Tim Tams at Walmart and stuff like that, but it's not the same. And then Chico's, which are chocolate flavored little jelly beans. Alice is excited to try these. Um, these little lollies. Pineapples. I'm excited for the strawberries. Strawberries and cream. And these are killer pythons. Gummies. Yum. And then I'm excited for this one is the frogs. The red frogs. Or frogs alive. So, super excited for that. Now we can munch and 
it won't be tempting me. So what you're all here for, <laughs> I'm sure, is my two year floss tube anniversary giveaway. Um, I posted it two weeks ago and so I got 21 comments and they're all listed right here. And so I'm going to do a random number generator. Okay, let me find it. Okay. So here's my random number generator. 1 to 21. I'm going to click generate. Let me do that again. Or no. Did I hit it twice? I might have to look back. Say, so number 7. is actually I'm gonna go because this is from newest to oldest so I'm actually gonna count up from the bottom so so counting from the bottom because I'm going I want my oldest ones one two three four five is Jenny D in QLD so Jenny get a hold of me and I will um, I'll put my email address in the bottom um, get a hold of me, Jenny. Jenny D and QLD, you are a winner. Um, and I'll go back and look, and I don't think I hit it twice, but yeah. So, um, like I said, Jenny D, QLD, congratulations. Oh, QLD, Queensland. Ha ha, I'm silly. But yeah, get a hold of me. Um, I'll put my email in the drop down below, and um, look, I'm going to close the comments on that other one um, just so nobody adds on to it. Um, I hope you all have a great week. I hope your November is treating you good. Um, be kind and take care you guys. Bye.